Day one. Day freaking one. And I find it. Goal complete. Holy cow. Oh my god. Wow. They made fluted points out of this stuff. I'll tell you something about this in a little bit. Any bushcrafter knows. Pickles, Birch Park. We got in kind of early yesterday, set up the tent, and I just wanted to show camp real quick. Got our pickles and birch bark right there. Little tiny fire pit. It's a pretty decent layout. Nice and big space. There's a little red squirrels making a ton of noise but they're really cute <laughs> little tiny red guys I saw one while I was walking to pay the campsite um, it's a self pay thing you just put the money in a drop slot with your name on it and license plate and all that but um, I was walking down through here and all of a sudden, this little thing runs out at me. Like, I was like, ah, what is that? Thought it was like a, uh, a rat or something, but it was a little red, little red squirrel. And the little red squirrel had uh, a green pine cone in its mouth. And it was cute. Um, but I was really annoyed because it startled the hell out of me. I thought it was like a raccoon or baby raccoon or something. I don't know. I not used to seeing red squirrels but the sun is just coming out i don't even know what time it is i didn't check yet there we go it's cold cold up here we're in the uh white mountains i did scan some of the rock in the uh pavement here i don't really see anything too good for any kind of tool, stone tools or anything like that. Okay. When I figure out what's going on, I'll get back to you. It's actually cold enough at the end of July to be wearing a sweater. I'm cold. tell you something about this in a little bit this stuff here it's called rabbit foot clover really cool stuff
from not far from those mountains. Some uh, known Paleo Indian camps, uh, like 13,000 years old. Unwedge that. So, this appears to be what I'm looking for. It looks right. Let me look for a little more. A few samples would be nice. Looks like it's just uh, cobble. Glacial cobble. See that edge? Yeah, this is it. Sweet, man. All right, let me look around. All right. I don't have a lot of rock to look at here, but I definitely found one piece of the rhyolite I've been looking for. There's more rocks over there, but I can't get to them on that little shore there. That's private property. So all that I have is this little space right here to look. And I'm not seeing any more of anything that looks like that. This has been bounced around down here. I think this is it. This is the rhyolite I've been looking for. This is the stuff the paleo guys around here used. I think. I did not test it yet, so I had a little hammerstone. Moment of truth here. I'll take a little flake, just a tiny one. Sounds right. You ready? And that's it. That is it. That is the rhyolite. Awesome. Remember how I said that whole, uh, I go blank faced when I get excited? I am excited. Extremely. <laughs> Look at this. It's got cool banding. Yep. Okay. Only one piece that I could get to here. So I'm gonna have to come back and look a little bit more when the waters are lower. Oh man. All right, before I head out here, mission complete, I'll say that. But I wanted to show off these um, kind of stripes in the rock. That's what caught my eye. Does not look the same on camera as it does to my eye. Kind of looks like little zebra stripes. But flakes really nice. There, you can see the stripes in the rock there. It's really interesting how it looks very coarse grained inside. Like if you show where you took the flake, yeah. it looks really rough. It's but smooth. But when you feel it, 
it's smooth and very um, turtle-like. I'm trying to get a good view of it. There. There we go. That looks like a rhyolite to me. Um, reminds me of the black stuff from uh, North Carolina in consistency here. Feels the same. The black rhyolite from North Carolina. All right. I just really wanted to uh, record this little glacial cobble and uh, show it before I nap it. Because I am going to nap this for myself. Day one. Day freaking one. And I find it. Goal complete. Holy cow. Oh my god. Mountain. Railroad track. Just gonna take a quick look. Quick glance. Look at this railroad rock. Let's see if I see any of that stuff. That bright light. Man, I'm so happy that I found that. I only found one piece. I'm still gonna nap it, but now I'm no more nervous to nap it. Okay. I'm not seeing it in the track material either. There is some like basalt and stuff that I could nap though. All right. All right, all right. I'll get going. Leah just yelled, stop, I gotta look at something. And she jumped out, what do you got? What'd you say? It's like crystal. Stop. Crystal quartz. I gotta look at something, it's not flint. I don't know what that powder is. Kinda ancient. Whatever. Quartz crystal. I just wanted to show you what we're at here. It just looks like a little creek, right? Little creek, little creek. Tadpoles. Little ones. This is crazy. Surprised you stepped over this giant quartz crystal here. This whole big brick is rhyolite. If you find uh, rhyolite, it doesn't mean it's uh, amazing to nap. This looks interesting. This blue. Let me check it. So this piece is something. I just don't know what yet. It might be basalt. I'm gonna have to get into it with the steel hammer because uh, there's not really many ledges that I could hit very hard on here. You try something. I think 
think this might be a basalt. I just wanted to check it. Crystal pocket, but it's basalt. Hmm. Split right along that uh, seam. Yeah. And you can see how all the crystals like collect in there. Hold on. Also basalt. Pretty high quality though. Yeah. I'll try to nap this. Nap basalt? Yeah. I'll give it a try. just on a ridge above this river here and there's some velvet leaf blueberries. They're tiny ones. There's a whole bunch right here. See that? Velvet leaf. Just wanted to look around in a few more spots. Wow, totally different rock here than across the road the heck? What is this? Is this basalt? Blue rock. Like this, whatever this is, it looks pretty pure. Limestone? Maybe basalt. All right, putting you down for a second to test it. Basalt or limestone. It's really tough. So there's a lot of the blue stuff. The tough blue stuff down here. Just on the side of the road here. Man, if that stuff's any good, there's a lot of it here. Just give you guys a good view of uh, some of the stuff that you can nap, that blue stuff you can nap, it's just tough. The, uh, if I use the indirect on that stuff, it would work. It's definitely sharp. All right. Any trout? Yeah, fishy, fishy. All right. 
hop him back in the car. That looks like bear track. That might be bear. It's big. I don't see anything. I mean, it's big. Big bear. Big bear, chase! Big bear, chase! What did he say? What? Big bear, chase me! <laughs> Right light. This is um, Jefferson Rhyolite. I only have one piece, so hopefully I can make something nice from it. It's really hanging up. There we go. That got rid of a lot of it. That's what I was aiming for. Okay, it looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. I probably would be better off working a flake, but we will put this on a dart and test it. That should be enough, I would think. All right, just lightly glued it in there. Burnt the heck out of myself. I just wet it to see what it would look like and it looks much prettier like that. Try flint and steel again. All right. Just like that.
tough one, but got it done. Got it going now. Letting it dry. Put the char cloth back into the fire in the tin uh, to see if that'll dry it out. And maybe it won't char it too much. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. Proved, yes or no? Good fire. Leah approved. Sun's going down quick. I'm a little disappointed in this thing. I thought it was going to be a bit wider. But trouble thinning it. Leah's getting a stick for the fire. Um, but we'll see how that works in the morning, I guess. It's not dry yet. I'll give it a test. Um materials very hard to thin and kind of flakes weird but I'm sure just like anything else if I got used to it I would uh I would be pretty good at it uh, I was looking at uh the artifacts and I'll clip those in the video when I upload it um <clears throat> the artifacts the artifacts are kind of thick like that but uh, way better, way better than I make them. We'll see. I wish I had more. But like I said, I'm excited that I was able to get anything at all from it. Hope I could find more. We'll see, I only had two nights here this time, so. messing with the fire. Alright. I'm gonna sit by the fire and uh, go to sleep. Then we gotta be out of here by noon. And then I'll come home, edit the videos, and <clears throat> get them uploaded to you. Alright. Have a good night. Didn't dry all the way overnight. So, I'm only gonna get uh, one throw with this. It's probably gonna come loose, but maybe not. We'll see. did not break. This is, uh, this is hard plastic. Alright. Let's see what we got here. It is wedged in there. There we go. Yep. Hard plastic, uh, as compared to skin. That'd work. That would work. Nice. Kind of chunky, narrow. Super sharp point. Still, still sharp as heck at the tip. Uh, 
Nothing like uh, throwing a spear at six in the morning. Yeah, that's good now. So I just threw the tin into the fire, created a whole bunch of char cloth. Just in one of those cans. Tin. in there. I was reading last night that this stuff is super hard to come by. It's just in glacial cobble. But the paleo guys used it. And again, I'll clip in more pictures right here. I really gotta figure out a way to, um, let the stuff dry. Bless you. How to let the sinew dry overnight. It doesn't dry in the mountains. Oh, man, I gotta wake up. Bless you.